Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's me Taboka. If you're here for the first time, welcome to, I'm so glad to have you here. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy the other ones too, if you get to watch them. Um, In this video, as you can see in the title, we're talking about working from home. Let's put down two, four, six, seven points that have helped me as I've worked from home. So hopefully you can, if you're still working from home or are planning to do that in the new year, hopefully these are things that you can take up and they can make your working from home experience even better. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this. So first things first, they are in no particular order. It's just the order in which I thought about them and put them down. So it doesn't mean one is more important than the other. Okay, so first things first, wake up, the wake, your wake up time or yeah, my wake up time was fixed. So going for work away from home, I had a fixed waking up time because I needed to beat the traffic, I needed to get things done before I leave. So I tried to imitate that even while working from home because I still have to start work at a particular time. So I still need to get the things done that need to be done before I start work. So have a fixed wake up time. It's working day, wake up at a certain time. Number two, dress for work. Work has become a little bit different because you're sitting here and all we can see is this. So it's a little bit relaxed. I loved it in winter. I could sit down in my winter boots and look all formal up here, but I would still always dress for work. Um, I always still do dress for work. So there I am in my fully dressed, just like I'm going to work. I could even sometimes put in work shoes <laughs> because otherwise when they also put them on. So dress up for work because you are going for work. It doesn't mean if you are home that is not work. You are going for work so you dress up as though you're going for work. Um, I don't know. It depends on what companies people work for but I believe if you need people to take you seriously you should take yourself seriously as well. So put in a bit of effort as much it doesn't mean if you're behind the screen it's less of your job you're still working a job that you need to respect that you need to um show up for so don't rush from your blankies and just quickly sit down and have your zoom meeting be prepared it's a job dress up for work okay designate a working area as well as number three so have a space that you have designated as your workspace um jobs are different so i'm assuming this would be different based on what you're doing if it's an office job create an office at home don't just it's time for work and you just quickly rush get your laptop and go and sit wherever you can on the sofa on your bed have a workspace let me not say too much have a work area. So if it's on your dining table, if it's in your bedroom, just have a space that you've designated for work so that when you sit there, you are in work mode and everything about you changes because you know now I am working and I am in my office, in my workspace, whatever it may be. Depending on how much space you have, you don't have a dining table, you don't have a, a desk or any table. You could just have a little corner somewhere. Even if it's I don't want to say your bed because the bed is a bit... Um, a stool, get a stool, put it in a corner somewhere and a box that you can put your laptop on and say that's my working space. Just have something that that is your working space, whatever works for you or whatever you can have. What's up with this fly? Okay, so number four inform everyone that you're working so if you do not live alone or if, even if you do live alone let your friends know let people know 
people who always call you, people who um, might want to visit you anytime, friends, family, let them know I'm working. So I am home, yes, I look like I am home and I'm free to entertain and whatnot. I work from home now, so I have working hours and I'm working. So let everyone know, if you have children like me, they know mommy's sitting at that designated workspace. When you see her sitting there, she's working. So they won't disturb me because they know I am working. So that's also another helpful thing. Let everyone, it's only fair that they do know. It's not their fault if they barge in and you're in the, mid, in the middle of a meeting. You didn't inform them. If you can tell them I'm heading into a meeting, please don't come into this and that room. Please don't play too noisily. Or if it's friends, please don't visit me at this, these at this time or don't call me i'll be on zoom i'm using my phone maybe so if you call me um i don't disturb my internet whatever it is let people know that you are working so that they can respect your work otherwise they will not know and they will come and visit you and it's going to be awkward so let them know so that's coupled with the next one which is number five have no more working hours so if it's an eight to five job at the office, when you would go to work, it's an eight to five job at home. So being at home doesn't give you the luxury to say, I am now at home, my boss is not watching. So I would just sit down and it's time for the meeting and the rest of the day I'll do nothing. There's other things that you do when you're not in that work teams meeting or your Google Meet or your Zoom meeting. You have other things that you have to work on. That's why you have that job. So working hours are working hours. They're not leisure hours. They're not visiting hours. They're not baking hours. They're not cooking hours. They are working hours. So treat them as that, as working hours. So, and that, those are things you inform others. I'm working from 8 o'clock to 5 p.m. So please, within those hours, do not disturb me. I am at work. I am at home. Yes, you can see that I'm home, but I'm working. Those are my working hours, I work from home. So let people know, it's only fair. Otherwise, don't blame them if they do visit you abruptly, or if they call you, or if they, whatever it is that will disturb you, let them know that you're working. And that also is connected to the next one, which is be dedicated. Working from home gives us the freedom and luxury to just lounge around and oh, put your feet up oh that's extreme after all you are at home so you feel like you know i can relax a little no you are getting paid for that job it's not just a voluntary thing even if it's voluntary you've given yourself and you've offered yourself to offer that service so that de be dedicated to it no one forced you to volunteer for that job you offered yourself so whether you're getting paid or not be dedicated be disciplined don't spend your whole day there scrolling on social media or whatever it is people do when they're supposed to be working leaving the house or moving around the whole day and only keeping the meeting times as working hours. Working hours are working hours. If you're getting paid for your eight to five and you have your lunch break, your tea break, have your lunch break and tea break. But the rest of the time you are working. So work. Okay. Which is connected now to the last one. And I think most important to me, work as unto the Lord you are employed by someone yes or you're working for yourself whichever one it is but you're working to please him god so in your work you want him to be happy at the end of the day that you're doing a good job it doesn't matter that your boss or your clients or whoever it is cannot see you the fact that he can see you and he can see your dedication, he can see your commitment, he can see what you're putting in, that's the best thing that matters. Because at home, there's really going to be no one to watch over you. There's really going to be no one to say, you are on your phone, you are doing what not, you, 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 whatever it is. So you work to please God and not man. Then your work is going to be spot on because you know, God is watching all the time and you have to give him your all 
or given nothing. So if you have that in mind, it's going to help you in everything that you do. And I think it helped me as well through working from home because I know no one's watching really. I can just make use of this time for other things, but it's really not fair because that's cheating, that's lying. And if you respect God who tells you not to cheat and lie, then you won't do it. So it's not really about being found out. It's about honoring God. So those are my tips which you can follow as you work from home. Um, I hope they're helpful. They were very helpful for me. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.